Hello everyone, it's Phil here doing another tweet guide for a GG.com game. This time we're looking at Sam and Max Hit the Road. Um, also a very good adventure and I've got fond memories in from my teenager time. Okay, let's uh, run the game. I just installed it and let's check out what it looks like and how it sounds. So we can see that the image is very uh, small. I'm aware that you can change the graphics card scaling settings but that shouldn't be necessary the, because ScumVM can actually do the scaling for you. So music seems to be um, FM music so the, we can definitely improve that by using general MIDI. It might be general MIDI but I'm actually not 100% sure. Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it anyway, now by pressing F5, we can tweak a few things already. However, the version of this Gun VM is quite old, uh, from, from 2013. If you want to load and save games, you can do that here. And if you want to tweak the uh, music volume, the sound effects, uh, sound effects volume, and the speech volume, you can do that here. So if you're hearing impaired or you've got issues understanding the dialogue, um, play with these uh, settings. If you want to turn on subtitles, let's go with both and see if that uh, if it picks it up straight away. There you go. So that's all worked. Okay, let's press F5 and quit the game. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is upgrade the version of ScumVM that the game comes with. Um, to do that, you need to download the Windows zip file version. So you go to the ScumVM website, click on uh, the download link and download the zip file. I've put it on my desktop. Then we go to our um, GOG folder. So our GOG folder, uh, where is it? Simon Max hit the road, ScumVM. And we basically copy the zipped ScumVM version into the game folder, into the ScumVM folder, and we just go right click and go extract here. And this will ask us, and we're gonna update all the files. And now we're using ScumVM version 1.7. To get general MIDI uh, music going, you need a virtual uh, MIDI device. Uh, two programs I recommend. One is the base MIDI driver. The other, one called, the other one is called Virtual MIDI Synth. I will put links in both uh, for both in my description. Then you also need a sound font, and there are quite a few. You can actually go to my uh, website and check it out there. So if you go to sound cards and then general media sound fonts, I've got three at the moment for download. My, one of my favorite is the Weeds General MIDI Sound Font version 3, but uh, Rich Nagel has also already given me an, uh, a small update file and you can also download that which uh, improves a couple of the instruments. And then I've also got the uh, Corium Revision A and Fluid R3. Those are two other sound font files. So basically try out which ones you like. Um, I'm using the Weeds General MIDI sound font. It's very balanced and sounds very good. So you gotta make sure that these uh, sound fonts are loaded and then you can just leave it running and that's really it. Okay, so now we're running the game again. We're pressing F5 and we should see, okay, we got version 1.70, that's good. And then we click on the return to launcher button and it is here where we can actually make our tweaks. So we click on edit game, um, click on graphics, tick override global graphics settings and change the graphics mode to open chill, no filtering. Then we tick the aspect ratio correction and full screen mode under audio we change the music device to our bass midi driver port a windows midi so that will load the sound font for the output rate let's go with 48 kilohertz here we you can change uh, speech subtitles or both and also tweak the subtitle speed um, volume just like before you can play around with the volume i'm just gonna turn it up so we can hear the music a little bit better and everything else we just leave uh, as as it is press ok and gonna quit and the shortcut should now work with the updating updated settings friends friends we've 
only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me. So that's working well. We've got a nice full screen image, aspect ratio corrected. We've got general MIDI uh, music going. Should sound a bit better. Understated credit sequence. And to adjust your uh, the music, let's lower it down a little bit so we can actually hear the dialogues a bit better. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. But that's really it for this for this video. Um, that's all there is to tweak. So I showed you how to improve the the graphics, the images, uh, and also how to get the the music with a better quality using General MIDI and uh, sound fonts and how to update the ScumVM version. And that's really it. Any questions you have, um, don't be shy. Leave me a, a comment down below in the YouTube video. Um, check out my website, Phil's Computer Labs. I've got a lot of interesting things there. And hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And that's really it. Thanks for watching.